And I'd like to address my question to Dr. Honeycutt. Um, in your testimony, uh, you, you wrote, quote, astonishingly, and uh, every time I read testimony and the word astonishingly shows up, uh, what comes next is critically important. Astonishingly, EPA's analysis, that's the EPA's own analysis, shows mortality increasing in certain cities, including Detroit and Houston, when decreasing the ozone standard from 75 parts per billion to 70 parts per billion. That is astonishing. Uh, did that get taken into account? Are, are, are they, what they're suggesting is that it's worth maybe increasing mortality for these regulations? Can you address this for us? Sure. That's called the NOx disbenefit. And if you look nationwide, there would be a net, according to EPA, a net uh, decrease in mortality. But if you look at a couple of some specific cities, I looked at 12 in particular, uh, those two cities lowering the standard uh, would actually increase mortality. And it's because NOx both creates and destroys ozone. So what you're going to be doing is increasing uh, ozone concentrations in the inner cities while decreasing it in the suburbs. 